Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the weekly messages for today. We are going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, so this is going to be for September 11th to the 17th of 2018. And I'm going to do a buy sign reading today. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to do all the extra oracle cards or anything like that. I'm just, I have two tarot decks and one oracle deck. So I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to go through sign by sign. I will post the timestamp after I get off of the live video. Um, but this is just what the week ahead has to offer. So I recommend that you watch your sun, moon, and rising for the most clarity around the week. And yeah, so go ahead and post in the comments what's your sun, moon, and rising. Or let me know where you are watching from. And I'm just going to start with Aries today. We're just going to go and order Aries to Pisces. And I'm just waiting for everyone to hop on. I'll pull these first for Aries. <clears throat> if you are watching the replay, then uh, more than likely I've already posted the timestamps. So you are welcome to check that out. And I also want to let you guys know that I do have... Um, I do have a mailbox now, which I will post in the description box, but I'm super excited about that so I can um, write with you and get mail and just have another way to connect. So I'm super excited about that. And Dawn, I am so stoked. I'm glad it got there early. Hello, hello. Hello everybody who's hopping on. It's nice to see you. Just just a quick check-in for everybody if you're wondering what the hell is going on right now. I'm doing an all signs reading or signs specific reading today so it's different than what I normally do. I'm only on Aries. I have not started anything so if you have Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising this is good for you. Alrighty and then drop a comment if you have any questions or anything you're welcome to shoot them my way. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First thing coming up is the lovers. Ooh, I'm jealous already. So this is all about connection and uh, <laughs> and collaboration with those around you. So it could be any type of partnership, right? It's not just romantic. I want to make that distinction. That This just has to do with connection, the connective tissue between you and other people. Um, and I think that you might find yourself kind of, uh, find your mind drifting towards community and things that you want in terms of connection. I'm, that might be a big part of your focus this week or something that's coming up in terms of a theme. Then we also have two of swords. So there's a little bit of unpredictability about the week. Like there's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of uncertainty about the way that things are going to play out. I think you might have a lot up in the air at the moment, but it is all panning out. You just kind of have to get co-creators on your side and um, really build your network in it. You're going to start to see solutions pop up. And then the Oracle card for you, we have receiving frequency. So you really want to get grounded and in a place where you're receiving, okay, so that you can get all of the resources that you need. Alrighty, and then Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on for you. First thing for Taurus, we have the Emperor. So this is about uh, divine masculinity, staying grounded, supported, secure. Um, and it, it just looks like a really foundational week for you to build. Whatever tasking you want to get done, this is a good week to just knock everything out. Like just ride the tail end of Virgo season, or I mean, we're, we're getting closer to Libra season. Um, but this last bit of Virgo energy, like soak it up because it's really helping you out. And then we also have two of wands. So I think a lot is coming together. Even if you don't see quite yet how things are playing out, um, you might begin to see like some of the things start to pop up. There might be a little bit more um, support coming your way in terms of uh, 
like what you've already built like you're actually you have a platform where you can kind of expand from so that looks really good things seem to be coming together for you quite nicely especially around professional stuff and professional endeavors and then we also have for Taurus think with your heart what is your heart asking for like what do you really need to feel satisfied <clears throat> And that's going to be a good question for you to ask yourself this week is are the decisions that you're making contributing to what you really desire and what you want long term all right gemini sun moon and rising the hanged man look at your habits this week it might actually be a good time to start something new a good time to initiate a new healthy habit make an adjustment to an old habit um Habits, 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 all things habits is going to really uh, be at the forefront for you this week. We also have the hermit, so there's a need for you to become introspective this week. Uh, less about going out and um, collecting information and more about looking inward at yourself and what's going on. Again, this has to do with the Virgo energy that we're still working with right now, and so the hanged, the hanged man is uh, all about um, kind of making the adjustments to what's working and what's not. And you can't do this if you're putting all of your energy out into the world rather than pouring it back into yourself. Okay, so then we also have for Gemini, throat chakra, express yourself. That is never an issue. Well, I shouldn't say never, <laughs> uh, but that's not really an issue for Gemini. But I think this is more about really respecting whatever it is that you have going on in the throat, whatever you need. It's, it's worthwhile to express, even if that's just to yourself. Like sometimes saying things out loud can shift in energy just by identifying and labeling it. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And Diana, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. I'm so glad to hear that. God, I just dropped a bunch of cards. Okay. All righty. Uh, Dawn, if you want to know what your Sun, Moon, and Rising is, go to astro-charts.com. That is my favorite site um, for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, Cancer. We have the Death card. This is a good week, also a good week to make changes. Or it's kind of like the flow of things is just working itself out. It seems like things are really shifting for you. So whatever it is that you are um, looking to looking to adjust, it, it just seems like the the timing is good, like there's a new perspective, a new reality that you're moving into this week. And then we also have the Three of Wands. So this also has to do with what you're seeing for yourself. Remember that what you focus on grows, where your attention is, is going to expand. And so this is a really nice a combination to adjust your focus and really start, um, you know, keeping your eye on the prize, so to speak. All right. And then for you, we also have endings. So that has to do with the death card, right? Something has to, but we, we all have cycles of death and rebirth throughout our lives. Like it's the entire process of death rebirth death rebirth death rebirth like that is what we do the old ways of being the old ways of thinking die away and you're able to move into a new paradigm for yourself so I think you're really going to be feeling that this week like and it is from that um Virgo new moon your new reality that's what this is all about all right Leo sun moon and rising hello hello First thing coming up for Leo, Ace of Swords, new ideas. I think you're kind of looking out at what's next, your next big adventure, your next, um, it's like the next journey, the next leg. It, it just looks really exciting this week. Like, yes, I'm, I'm back in the flow of things, getting, getting things moving again. And then we also have justice, so it seems pretty well thought out, like that you're going to have a nice level-headed, grounded week. This looks really um, 
cozy, like you have the nice balance here so that you can just focus on the excitement of all the things you have coming up. I think there's a lot going on maybe in October or like coming up. It doesn't seem to be this week in particular. It's like something you have to look forward to. And then for Leo, we also have you're exactly where you need to be. I know that that can be a tough pill to swallow sometimes, but it's absolutely true. You are exactly where you need to be. Um, even even if some stuff's going wrong right now, I mean, you're you're going to come out of it on the other side. You're go. It's going to shift. So all the stuff that you have going on, it's going to shift, especially if you're uncomfortable. So it's okay. Just hang in there. And Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The sun, how exciting. Okay, so the sun is all about vitality, vibrance, having fun, kind of that childlike excitement and just really um, being raring to go, like having a boundless energy. So I think this is going to be a really awesome week for you. It just looks like things are really picking up their pace um, and you're able to carry carry forward a lot of your plans like again take advantage of the energy that you have this week do all all of the tasking and to-do list stuff this is the week to do it like if you have the sun here that means that you're going to be feeling more um clear this week yes danielle i'm sure you're excited about that one okay and then we also have the five of wands so this is like bursting through like you have the energy to confront obstacles you have the energy to problem solve you have the energy to figure things out and so that's kind of why you it's better to take some steps moving forward so that you can work out all the bugs while you have the energy i think september is going to go by in a flash October is going to be here in no time. I mean, we're already over a week into September, so it's kind of like use use your season. Use your season. That's really what's helping you. Then we also have pleasure and pain. The pleasure is coming from getting things done. The pain is just the discomfort that goes along with tasking and problem solving, right? It's like it, during when you're running errands, that might not feel good, but the relief of having them off your to-do list is so worth it. So that's where this is coming in. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what is going on for you? Ten of Coins. Okay, so this is a another um, card that kind of signifies a foundation week, like looking at the big picture, um, looking at what it is that you want long term in relationships, like what type of legacy do you want to leave in career, relationships. I just think that there's a little bit of daydreamy energy that's happening. I don't think that the Ten of Coins is like necessarily what you're experiencing in this moment the ten of coins is more of a reminder like where is your focus how are you call how are you cultivating this because remember it's almost like the the ten of coins is one of those things that we don't ever achieve it's actually fluid it's a verb i i look at this card like it's a verb it's something we do in the moment it's not something that you just get to the top and that's it. It's something that you're constantly building. And so that's where your attention is this week. Then we also have the Four of Swords. It's okay to rest. I think that there's something that could be really therapeutic about you resting and just kind of maybe doing an activity that is like a vision board or a meditation or something that really helps you... Uh, focus on your long-term vision, maybe write out a visualization or, or something like that. That's what I'm getting from this. Just kind of like tuck yourself away this week and have fun with um, fantasizing about what you want long-term. And then we also have final step. That's what, that's why you're kind of getting a nudge to go back to the drawing board a little bit. Like, okay, make, make your final your final decisions, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's, go through, fine tune everything, and then um, execute. You have the final step. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Hello, hello, hello. 
Scorpio, we have Page of Swords, doing things your own way, even if people don't get it. Don't worry about the opinions of other people. Just kind of carve your own path, do your own thing, keep up the good work. Okay, and then we also have the Eight of Swords. So this is a good time to work with boundaries around yourself. So what I mean by that is it's okay to put some healthy constraints around where and how you're working for yourself. And I think that, you know, this is more about like setting up a reward system or something like, okay, if you get this done, then you can uh, treat yourself or, or then you can relax or then you can, it's like set yourself up so that you're doing what you need to get done and then you can kind of um, expand outside of that. But I'm just getting that this has more to do with you setting the boundaries so that you don't kind of like float off into outer space because the page of swords is like such a big dreamer and has such big ideas that a lot of the time it can just seem like it's completely ungrounded and the boundaries are what's going to help keep you grounded this week then we also have abundance a lot of stuff coming through this week and i think that's why you want to stay grounded you can do things your own way but you might be receiving a lot of manifestations this week or like it could be um like a big thing that you've been wanting it could be you know that that money you've been hoping for it could be any number of things so you want to be grounded so that one you can see it and two you can actually keep it Excuse me, I need to take a sip of this beverage. Okay, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ace of Wands. And so it, I, I actually think that this would be a good week to like pick up a creative project or like go do something creative, go to an art show or like go to a fair or go to um, uh, like a musical performance or, or go see a show like that. You know, do do something fun or like plan something for yourself. I, I'm getting a strong hit on creativity. So if you're not like if you don't typically do a lot of creative stuff yourself, then I would just say surround yourself with creative energy and creative friends. Then we also have the tower. Ooh, this is such a cool tower card. It's like old, old stuff is probably coming up this week. I, I think there's something about this season because Virgo is very grounding uh, for you and for everybody, but especially for Sagittarius, which tends to be a little bit more flighty, super expansive. The Virgo energy right now is going to help reflect back to you where you might be lacking in certain areas, where you might need to make some changes. And so that's where the tower is like all that stuff that is actually preventing you from becoming, um, more stable. It's like you can really use some of that to to help clean things up for yourself how, and remember that when I say clean things up I don't mean by like how someone else is defining it you have to define that for yourself we all have things that we want to tweak that we want to adjust it's life is like driving a car you don't want to jerk the wheel to the right you want to stay on a steady course and just make subtle adjustments that's what this week is doing for you Slow down, chill out, let yourself take some time. There's no rush, like nobody, nobody is racing against you to do anything. This is all you. So slow down, enjoy yourself, just take your time with everything. And I think that's going to be um, the best course of action for you this week. Uh, Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Hello to all of my Capricorn friends. Three of Cups, hang out with friends. Celebrate. You might find that there's like birthdays or parties that are coming up. I think that this is going to be a really great time to just connect with the people that you care about. I think it's just going to bring a lot of clarity and um, 
support and and it's it, it just looks like it's going to be a fun enjoyable week if you let it if you want it to be and then we also have strength so uh, this is probably a week where you're recharging your batteries i don't think that this is a week where you're expelling a whole bunch of energy it's where you're regrouping recharging recalibrating for yourself and preparing for like buckling down and getting work done and then we also have comparison. Watch yourself with this. Comparison doesn't help. It's not actually going to help you. There's, there's a difference between like admiration and inspiration and then comparison. Like those are all in different camps. And so you just want to check yourself when it comes to like if you're, if you're looking at your own situation and saying, well, why can't it be like such and such? You, just remember that there's a lot you can't see and there's a lot you don't know about other people and other situations and other um, experiences. One is not necessarily better than the other because we're all different. All right, um, I already pulled this card for, it just wanted to pop up. This is Aquarius, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, and Rising. You have the King of Cups, emotional stability. I'm just seeing that there's like some emotional mastery coming up. You might feel more centered and grounded this week. Um, it, it just looks like the right time to... Um, I would say like if there's a serious conversation that you need to have with somebody, this would be a really great week to have it. That's another intuitive hit that I'm getting. And then we also have the Empress. So I think there's a lot there's a lot of abundance that's around like you can actually cultivate a lot this week if you just give it a little bit of attention um you might find that there's a whole bunch of opportunities and um relationships that kind of fall into your lap okay so it's just like you're totally um like the word that's coming up is like fertile like there's this fertile quality to this week like yes anything that you pour energy to is going to yield results you but you might not be able to see when then we also have feminine boom that has to do with the empress these two cards are reading is the same like don't forget the power of like your intention and holding space for the manifestation to arrive it's not something where you just like cross your fingers and hope it comes it's like you have to speak with conviction Conviction. Like you have to know that your manifestations are in alignment with you. Like, and you're the one who decides that. That's not dictated by an external force so much. It's like that's an internal state that you reach. All right, last but not least, Pisces. Hello, hello. This is good if you're sun, moon, or rising Pisces. First thing, five of cups. So this is about like, are where are you looking? Are you looking at the glass is half empty? What is your perspective? Did something disappoint you? Are you frustrated? Like what's really happening? And are you able to find the silver lining in the situation? Or is that something that you're not open to at this time? You, you decide. You just have to ask yourself in the moments when you're feeling it down, like things aren't going your way. Um, you know, what's what's underneath that and then the other card we have for you is the page of wands so i think this is going to be um a week where you have plenty of energy like that's what this is but i think that the disappointment is actually coming from you wanting things to move faster than they are and you wanting things it's like your expectation for movement might be um it, it just looks like it's a lot bigger than what's actually uh, possible this week. Like it, it might just be that there's things that are working themselves out in the background that you can't see right now. So don't, don't put an expectation on the outcome this week. It's not a good time to do that. You really want to take a step back and just let things unfold organically. Because now this is looking like expectation with the page of wands coming up. And then we also have communication. So express yourself, communicate what you need, what you want, what you desire. Um, it's just a good week to do that. I think that all this energy that you have coming up here is all um, stuff that you can work with. I think this, this is fine. It's just about keeping in mind what are you looking to get out of 
your situations, your relationships, and your efforts in a week. Like sometimes things take longer than you would like them to. So just, just remember that it doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means that it might not be happening in your time. All right, so that is all that I have for you this week. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions um, or you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you're welcome to leave a comment. Uh, check the description box. My new mailing address is in there. All of the links to work with me are in there and all of that good stuff. So uh, check it out and have a lovely week, everybody. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you as usual, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.